I used to come in here as um, when I was well, quite young actually, because my my uncle was the uh, used to run the little there was a little museum here, and he used to run the museum, and uh, and he used to let us kids in to have a run around and see all the uh, see all the artifacts, and that was actually downstairs. There was uh, you know stuff going back to the 12th century and whatever you know. So yes, I did know about it. And it was such a shame to see it going to rack and ruin. And when, when I was approached to to, to actually get involved with, it, with the project, I, you know, I was so pleased. You know, it's sort of gone from me, my uncle, to me, and who's going to be next? You know. <laughs> the, the acoustics here are fantastic. I mean, you don't, you don't need uh, uh, my, um, sort of uh, mics and amplifiers and all that sort of stuff and it's got a history I think people uh, I mean the, the history almost seeps from the walls I mean uh, John Gay actually uh, went to school here and uh, uh, you know it's been a, a venue for creativity and I think that's uh, it sort of I think it I know it may sound silly but I think it seeps into performers and, uh, and it comes out that uh, comes out in their performances I think St Anne's is unique. I mean, it's not only as a, a beautiful building, but it's uh, it's uh, a venue uh, different from the uh, the normal open mic nights. Whereas a, an artist has got a chance to um, to perform in, in, a, in a setting that's uh, that's not only beautiful, but people actually sit and listen. It's more of a, a more of a cabaret sort of setting. And we've got a stage, we've got lighting. Uh, and uh, it's, it sort of elevates uh, musicians from the open mic to a proper performance. And, and I think uh, this is the, one of the few venues, if not the only venue in, in, in North Devon, that uh, provides that sort of uh, experience. <laughs>